Hello, in this video we're going to look at a small open economy and do a couple problems. A small open economy is characterized by the following. GDP is 5,000. Government spending is 1,500. Taxes equals 1,000. The consumption function equals 250 plus 0 0.75 multiplied by disposable income, Y minus taxes. The investment function is given as 1,000 minus 50R, where R is the real interest rate. Net exports equals 500 minus 500E, where E is the real exchange rate. And we're told here that the real interest rate is 5%. And like I said, E represents the real exchange rate. R is the real interest rate. We want to find national saving, investment, the trade balance and the real exchange rate in this small open economy. So we'll start with the investment function. First thing we're going to do is going to plug this 5 or 5% 5 into this investment function here. And we have investment spending of $750, 1000 minus 250. The next step is to evaluate the consumption function at 5000 for y and then subtract out taxes of 1,000. And we have consumption here of $3,250. Recognizing that GDP equals consumption plus investment plus government purchases plus net exports, we're going to solve this expression for net exports. So solving this top expression for net exports, we get this result and plugging everything we know in here. We know what Y is, C is, G, and I. So plugging that in, net exports are negative, so minus 500. So in this case, imports exceed exports. And national saving in an open economy is just going to be net exports plus investment. In a closed economy, you re might recall that saving, national saving equals investment. With an open economy, uh, it'll equal this result here. And so plugging in net exports of minus 500 and investment spending of 750, saving in this economy here, national saving in this economy here is 250. Taking our net export equation and setting net exports now equal to minus 500, we're going to solve for E. So dividing through by minus 500, E, the real exchange rate, is 2. And we found everything that we set out to find. All right, let's do another problem. Uh, in this uh, second problem, I'm going to reduce government spending a little bit, and I'm going to increase taxes. So a very similar economy, but like I said, G is a little bit smaller here, and taxes are... Um, higher in this example. And so one thing to point out, just intuitively, uh, government saving has increased in this example compared to example one, and that will increase the supply of dollars to, to be invested in other countries. This will lower the real exchange rate, okay? So because there are going to be overall a greater supply of uh, saving, greater supply of dollars to be invested, uh, not only domestically, but in foreign countries. This will lower the real exchange rate, causing domestic goods to become less expensive relative to foreign goods. So exports will rise and imports will fall. So we should see a rise in net exports in this example. Everything else here, the consumption function is the same. The investment function and the net export function are exactly the same. And real interest rate here again uh, is five for five percent. So setting up the investment function and evaluating it we get investment spending once again of 750. Our consumption function uh, in this example uh, will have a level of consumption here of 2,875. Solving for net exports Net exports in this example is going to be zero, so exports will equal imports. Recognizing that savings equals net exports plus investment. 
national saving here is now higher at 750 compared to example one. Uh, looking at our net export equation and plugging zero in for net exports, solving for the real exchange rate, the real exchange rate here is now one. So this is exactly what we predicted would happen due to this increase of saving uh, going on in this economy. All right, uh, I hope you found these uh, examples helpful. 